And where Karachi ends, Balochistan begins. It is Pakistan's largest province. It is also the most oppressed. Naturally, this province is perpetually in a state of unrest. There are frequent terror attacks. One such attack unfolded this afternoon. There was an explosion in the province's Mastung district. A powerful suicide blast ripped through a mosque here. A total of 52 people died and scores others were injured. The timing of the attack is striking. It unfolded during Eid A Miladun Nabi. This is a day which marks the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Hundreds of devotees had gathered near the Medina Mosque in the district. Little did they know what awaited them. Visuals from the blast site show people being rushed to hospitals and ambulances. Many of them who made it to the hospital did not survive. And those who did have been left with life-threatening injuries. In today's tragic incident, 32 people have died and over 100 were injured. We gave first aid to most of them and referred them to Keta Trauma Center. Around seven or eight people with severe injuries have been admitted to us and God willing they will be all right. Our doctors and all medicines were available here. So with God's help, we have managed everything. Given the scale of this tragic incident, Balochistan's caretaker, Chief Minister, has announced three days of mourning. He has also issued a statement condemning the attackers. Here's what it states. The enemy wants to destroy religious tolerance and peace in Balochistan. The explosion is unbearable. The perpetrators of the destruction do not serve any leniencies. Those who target peaceful processions will be dealt with firmly. Those who commit such heinous acts cannot be called Muslims. Just hours after this statement was made, there was yet another terror attack, this time in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Here too, the target was a mosque in the province's Hangu city. At least five people were killed in the blast and ten others injured. Now here's the thing. Both the blasts unfolded on the Prophet's birthday, a day which is considered to be revered in Islam. So why would Pakistan's terror outfits who are fighting in the name of Islam disparage the sanctity of this day? And why would they want to target mosques of all the places? Now, these are questions the people and politicians of Pakistan have got to ask themselves. For decades, they've left terror outfits thrive and survive in the name of defending their faith. When will they realize that this fight has only brought doom upon their own country? Look at this report. More than 200 anti-Pakistan terrorists have been arrested in Afghanistan. No, these terrorists are not Afghan nationals, they're from Pakistan itself. They're trying to join hands with Afghan-based terror groups to perhaps wage a new war against Pakistan. These shifting dynamics, these targeted attacks and the killing of terrorists, all these developments indicate that something big is brewing within Pakistan and it might just end up throwing the entire country into chaos. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.